Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you may or may not know, I just completed my three year degree in zoology and I thought it would be useful to make a video about it just in case you yourself are considering going down that path or if you're just curious about what it was like. I'm not going to be talking too much about my actual university but it's not too hard to find out which one I actually did go to. Um, just because it does depend on which one you go to, what experience you'll have at different universities. So. So I'm going to try my best to generalise it as much as I can, just so it's not too specific to my experience and the university that I attended. I have a feeling this is going to be a really, really long video, so one, I apologise for that. Two, I'll leave the timestamps of like what I'm going to talk about here on the screen, just in case you're not interested in watching the whole video and you only want to know about a specific thing, then skip to these times here and hopefully the video won't be too long, but if you do stick around and watch the whole video, thank you, because I feel like this is going to be a long one. So first I wanted to talk about how I came to do the degree and why I had to do to get here. This is going to be quite specific to the UK schooling system, so if this doesn't apply to you, maybe skip ahead a bit. But if this does apply to you, I'm going to be talking about the qualifications you need to go on to do a zoology degree. So in the UK, there is really two main ways to go on to do a zoology degree. The first one is if you are studying A-levels or planning on studying A-levels, you will want to be doing biology and sometimes they will also want you to have chemistry as well but some universities will allow you to do the degree if you only have one science A-level. The second way that I believe you can get onto a zoology degree in the UK is if you're doing a college course that's related to animals so I think animal management is the main one. You can then go on to do a university degree in zoology if you are currently studying something to do with animals at college. The one thing I will say is no matter which one of these you are doing make sure you've got a lot of extracurricular things to do with animals. This will help in your application, so volunteering with animals, things like that. Make sure you've done a lot of that just to get it under your belt and it will really help with your application to getting onto the degree. When I was applying for the degree there wasn't really that many universities that were actually offering it, but now I believe there are a lot more in the UK offering zoology as a degree, so hopefully you shouldn't have too much trouble applying. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is what was it like? Now I think this is the thing that most people are interested in because when you are thinking about doing a degree you don't really know what to expect and as I said before it will vary a lot depending on which university you go to and that will really vary the experience you have. But I'm going to be talking about my experience and hopefully you can learn a little bit about what it was like to actually do the degree. So in terms of the things we actually learnt, we learnt a wide variety of different topics such as animal behaviour and welfare, ecology, evolution, genetics, biochemistry, animal health and disease, plant-animal interactions, reproduction, invertebrate and vertebrate zoology, conservation, animal cognition and things like statistics, which I think everyone hates statistics but it is necessary to go on to have a scientific future. For me personally, I really enjoyed the modules that were more animal behaviour and cognition based. These seem to be the modules where we actually got to interact with animals the most, so by nature I really enjoyed these ones the most. We did do some practical hands-on learning such as training dogs, I actually got to train a tapir as well which was a really cool experience. We also got to do a lot of ecology practicals so going out and actually sampling things in the field and like counting population numbers of certain species, stuff like that. We also did things like dissections which wasn't my favourite thing but it did help to visualise everything and learn things. And then we also did quite a lot of microscope work. So one of the biggest parts of the degree itself, at least here in the UK, is doing your thesis or your dissertation at the end of the three years. Depending on where you go, you do get some say in what you get to do this on, and naturally I chose to do mine on rats. The official title of mine was Do Rats Form Stable Social Bonds? And if you know anything about rats and you have rats yourself, you'd think they do, right? But previous studies um, didn't find they actually form stable social bonds in their groups, and I kind of wanted to challenge this. So for a couple of months I was basically just sat watching different groups of rats uh, interact with each other in their cages and I was recording their affiliative, so their positive behaviours with each other like grooming, stuff like that and also their agnostic behaviours, so negative behaviours um, such as biting, pinning, things like that. And at the end of my study I did actually find that rats form stable social bonds with specific members of their group. So. So basically they did form stronger bonds with some members in their group as opposed to others because they have more positive interactions with them. So basically I kind of proved that they have like best friends in their groups which was cool. The next topic area I kind of wanted to touch on is what can you actually use the degree for and although this is a question that I'm still kind of asking myself I thought it would be useful to talk about this because you want to know what's at the end of your degree if you're actually going to pursue it. 
There are many things you can use a zoology degree for, and no, it's not what everyone thinks, you're not just going to end up working in a zoo, although that is a viable option if that is something that you want to do. But just some examples of what you can actually use a zoology degree for, you can become an ecologist, a marine biologist, an animal behaviourist, so training dogs, training other animals, and consulting people on their behaviours, a research scientist, or you could get involved in conservation projects, stuff like that. Even if at the end of the degree you do decide you don't even want to work with animals, you can then use your degree just to apply to other jobs because the skills you've learned throughout your degree will be transferable to other jobs. The best advice I can give you if you are thinking of doing a zoology degree or something similar is make sure you get plenty of work experience, voluntary experience before and during your degree. Not only will this be beneficial when you're actually applying for the course, but afterwards when you're applying for jobs it will help too. It'd also be helpful if your experience was kind of varied, so if you don't exactly know what you want to do with a degree after you finish, make sure you've got experience with a wide variety of different animals. So for example, I have work experience and voluntary experience with domestic animals, so I've worked in a couple of pet shops and I've also voluntarily worked at some shelters, so with dogs, cats and small animals. And then I've also got experience with farm animals, so I did volunteer at a shelter for like horses and stuff like that. And then I also have experience with lambing, which if you don't know what that is, you're basically just helping sheep give birth. Um, I also have experience at a reptile shop, and then I also have experience with wildlife, so helping to feed orphaned hedgehogs and swans, stuff like that. So it does help to have a wide variety of different experience, especially if you don't really know what you want to do with your life. Um, Hopefully at least one of those experiences will come in useful. If you're applying for a similar job, you can bring up that experience and say how it helps you be suitable for that job. So when I suggested that I was going to film this video and asked you guys if you'd be interested, I also asked you if you had any questions for me that you wanted me to answer and I actually got quite a lot. I wasn't expecting to get that many because it is quite a specific thing. So donkeygirl 28 asked a lot of questions that I think I covered already, but she also asked why did I choose to do it? And I've always known that I wanted to work with animals, but for me, um, when it came to like doing a degree, I was kind of split between going the animal route or also going down the art route, because I do really enjoy doing art. Um, but I decided against doing the art route, and ever since I was small, I really wanted to be a vet. But as I got older, I kind of realised that that level of education wasn't for me. Um, and then I discovered that zoology was a thing, and that doing a zoology degree was a thing. And I think I was the second year to do it at my university, so it was quite a new course. But as soon as I discovered that that was actually a thing, then that's what I knew I wanted to do. I think if I had gone down the art path, I would have liked to have done something like interior design, but animals have been something that I've been like consistently passionate about my entire life, so it made sense for me to do something to do with animals. Ferocious Creed Boy asks, what topics do you need to study at GCSE Science to get into zoology? So at GCSE level I study biology, chemistry and physics, but I'd say biology you definitely need and then in the degree itself obviously it depends on where you go but for me there was quite a lot of basic chemistry used in my degree so I definitely say you definitely need biology and then maybe chemistry just in case you struggle when you do actually get onto the degree because there are some chemistry based topics um, but physics you don't really need. Kate Matthews asks, does zoology have anything to do with wildlife conservation? Um, it can do. Some topics we study are conservation based and then obviously after you do the degree you can go on to have a career in conservation either locally with your local environmental agency or you can go abroad and do like conservation projects and stuff like that. Eggs asks, what job path will you take and will it have anything to do with ratties? Right now I'm not sure. I have been applying for a lot of jobs and haven't really had much success with that. Um, they've been quite varied with a few different types of animals. Most of them have been to do with dogs. Unfortunately a lot of the jobs out there are actually to do with like animal testing, things like that, which when you're looking at like the job websites it's really hard to filter these ones out and like find the decent jobs within these. So working with rats, a lot of the jobs out there are unfortunately not working in the rats favour. So if I could find a job working with rats that wasn't anything like that, then I'd definitely jump at the chance to do that. Um, but right now I'm not too sure what kind of path I'm going to take. I'm just hoping that I can find some sort of job working with animals, but it's definitely not easy. If you are deciding to do a zoology degree, prepare yourself for a lot of rejection afterwards when it comes to jobs, because landing yourself a job is not easy. <laughs> C-E-N-E Block asks, what are the major differences between a zoology degree and a veterinary degree? 
I'd say the main difference is that a veterinary degree is longer, I believe here in the UK it's about five years I think, um, and a zoology degree is only three years here. And I'd say that zoology is definitely much more of a broader topic when it comes to animals, whereas veterinary is probably just like health and behaviour. Although we do study those things in zoology too, just not as in much depth as you would do in a veterinary degree, and a veterinary degree is probably a lot harder than a zoology degree. Although if you do do a zoology degree and you decide you want to go on to do a veterinary degree, you can then go on to do that after you do your zoology degree. So the Cookie Crumbles asks, what kind of skills do you think are important in pursuing a zoology career? I think it's good to have a meth... I think it's good to have a meth... Why can't I say this word? Methodological approach to things and good problem solving skills. It does help to be confident around animals, although there's a lot of things you will do that aren't to do with animals at all and are just like writing skills and skills with writing papers and having like an analytical approach to things. You also need to be good at presenting the information you find back to people, which I know a lot of people struggle with. I struggled with having to do presentations, but I would say it is a necessary skill. Petsworld asks, what are the greatest aspects of such a degree and do you recommend it to people who are really into animals or not? I think the best thing about it is how broad it is and you can learn a lot of different things about animals. Would I recommend it though? Probably not. With how much it does cost to actually do this kind of degree and the fact that you're not guaranteed a good job at the end of it, I probably wouldn't recommend it to you if you are wanting to work with animals. There's definitely other routes you can take to get to that and you definitely don't need a degree to work with animals. I think if you're passionate enough about animals and you have enough experience, you can definitely get yourself a job without having to have the degree. If it's not something you're 100% sure about, then I'd say definitely don't go and do it because it is a lot of money to not be sure about something and you're not always guaranteed a job at the end of it. So if you can find another way to get your dream job with animals, then I'd definitely do that instead of actually doing the degree. If you are interested in just learning and learning a lot more about animals, then I'd say it's definitely something worth doing. So hopefully that has covered everything and if you are deciding whether you want to do a zoology degree, hopefully it was helpful to you and if there's anything I didn't cover in this video, feel free to leave a comment below and ask me about it or you can drop me a private message on Twitter or Instagram and I'll do my best to get back to you about it. Make sure you subscribe to see more and ready to produce with me and we'll see you on the next video. Bye!